contemporary Indian politics have seen disappearance of many political outfits and sharp erosion in the support base of many parties. But I should tell you one important development in the recent Indian polity is the gradual disappearance of Bhaujan Samaj party from the national political mainstream. There was a time when Mayawati was poised to become the Prime Minister of India. It would have been a remarkable socio-political development if an ordinary Dalit woman like Mayawati could storm into the power citadels, braving the upper caste, upper class hegemony that is evident in Indian democracy. But quite surprisingly, this, this, is, this is the thing of, thing of the past today. Well, the BSP has lost its sheen and the party Suprema is no longer the primary challenger in India's national politics. Well, still BSP is trying for its relevance. In Punjab, it is trying to ally with the estranged BJP ally Akali Dal. Well, in Uttar Pradesh, MIM chief OYC claimed that his party will be aligning, aligning with Mayawati. Let BSP, but however, Mayawati has simply rejected and rubbished this claim. So, now the BSP is actually struggling to survive in Uttar Pradesh politics. Why did this happen? Why the BSP suffered such a gradual and in fact such a sharp erosion over a period of time in the recent past? So, what was the factor that led to the eminent decline of Bhajan Samaj party? Well, still BSP retained the hold among the Jatav community, among the scheduled caste. This is primarily the reason why BSP still holds at least 20% of the vote share in, in Uttar Pradesh. So, what really happened to the BSP? Firstly, BSP has been facing successive defeats. We have seen BSP losing polls in 2012, 2014, 2017 and subsequently in 2019. Consecutive electoral reverses pose a serious challenge for survival for the Bajan Samaj party. That is the number one. Number two, well, the political formula of Kanshiram was essentially a Dalit core Dalit vote anchored by the Bhaujan vote. And this Dalit Bhaujan combined would attract even this socially advantaged upper caste, including Brahmins who are disgruntled with the Congress, who are disenchanted with the Mandir, Masjid and Mandal politics prevailing at the point of time. So, this was the broad rainbow caste coalition formula promoted by Kanshi Ramji. So, but ultimately this fizzled out in the recent past for a host of reasons. So, the, the basic social combination formula espoused by the BSP is no longer relevant today for a host of factors. Then the third factor is, what really happened to this formula? Firstly, let me look at the Brahman vote. Brahmins were were the strong support base of Congress before the emergence of BJP and even the BSP. But the, when the Brahmins got disillusioned with the Congress and the intelligent and the shrewd caste coalition formula put forth by the BSP attracted a section of the Brahmin voters. Mayawati gave a very significant number of seats to the Brahmins. But slowly with the emergence of Bharatiya Janata Party, the Brahman support for, for BSP has simply vanished. So, they shifted their loyalty to the BJP and today only when uh, the Brahmins are aggrieved with the uh, Yogi Adityanath regime, the BJP is trying otherwise also. So, it has now lured Jitendra Prasada who, uh, who is now organizing the Brahmins under the Congress banner till now. So, this shows that the, the disaster of the Brahman vote base made a significant uh, uh, damage for the BSP. Then the fourth one is forget about the Brahmins. Even among the Dalits, what really happened? So the successive defeats uh, has led to the um, dis, uh, disgruntlement among the young Dalit voters. And this, the young Dalit voters started rallying behind Chandrasekhar Rajad. So the emergence of Chandrasekhar Rajad filament has led to the loss of young Dalit vote for, uh, uh, for the Bhajan Samaj party. Then the fifth one is the RSS project of inclusive Hindu politics has also made a body blow to the BSP's Dalit mobilization because BJP was projected and seen 
as an upper caste Hindu dominated party. But B BJP intelligently nurse, nurtured this inclusive Hindu politics by mobilizing the socially marginalized section, Dalits and Bhajans, by revering uh, 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 their, the caste icons and having a support base among uh, uh, numerically smaller OBC groups and this BJP RSS project of inclusive Hindu politics led to the desertion of a strong chunk of the strong contingent of the Dalit and Bhajan voters away from the BSP. Then the sixth one is well the style of functioning of Mayavati has also led to the sharp erosion of the BSP. The Mayavati is known for uh, for, uh, for keeping distance from the party workers. She is no longer accessible to the party workers. So a party which has started as a remarkable social movement by Kanshiram has now degenerated to a level of yet another political party like any other regional party that is led by a, one individual. So BSP is no longer a party of social movements. It is a party of Mayavati. And this transition of a social movement into a private limited company of Mayavati made BSP irrelevant to the oppressed masses. Then the, uh, the, the seventh fact, the next factor is, well, there are new competitors for Dalit politics also. Samajwadi party is now competing for the Dalit politics. Congress, which was the favorite of Dalits before the emergence of BSP, is trying to revive its support among Dalits. We have seen even Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, making political pilgrimages to different places in Uttar Pradesh when the Dalits and tribals were attacked. So, Aam Admi Party is also trying to attract the Dalit masses. So, there are now more competitors for the Dalit vote and, and BSP is, is no longer left with a sizable Dalit vote today. And then the yet another factor is, well, there are several incidents of attacks on Dalits. Some of these incidents, some of these uh, very cruel incidents have caught the imagination of not only Dalits but all those who are socially concerned with what Bhajan Samaj Party failed to come to the fore in support of these causes. We have seen the Rohit Vemala case, we have seen the Una incident, flogging incident, BSP failed to show, failed to lead the, lead the movement on these issues and failed to grab the initiative on these issues. So, it is a self-inflicted defeat, it is a self-inflicted erosion. Successive years of defeat have further crippled the Bhajan Samad party. The Uttar Pradesh is going to witness elections in six months. We will have to see whether the BSP will be in a position to really revive. In fact, meanwhile, the BSP is also facing allegations that it is acting at the behest of the Bharatiya Janata Party due to the CBA cases on its chief. So, one, one has to see how will it, what kind of role it plays. B, prior to 2019 elections, BSP joined hands with the SP, RLD and Congress in couple of by-elections and ensured the defeat of the BJP. But such a larger opposition unity looks unlikely. So, at a time when Samajwadi party is, is hoping to challenge the BS, BJP head-on, the relevance of the BSP is, is certainly under question today.